Hey, hello everyone. Um, before I start this episode, a couple of things. One, for people who don't know, uh, this show um, is a show where I try sort of weird drinks, anything discontinued or from out of the country. Um, this is actually the second series. The first series is no longer on YouTube. It was take uh, I took it off my account. Uh, my other account, um, so, yeah, uh, basically, this is just an Australian's perspective on some weird foreign drinks, uh, just a random thing inspired by the cinema snob, aka Brad Jones, aka the guy from Brad Dries, who did a few of these, and I thought I, I really liked this, so, um, I thought I'd try it, and <laughs> the first episode of the new series back, um, I found something very interesting. I went to a weird sort of corner shop uh, around here, and I found something that I didn't think I was ever going to find. Pepsi Blue, although it looks like it's Pep Elube. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna have to try and flip this around in post. Um, but yeah, Pepsi Blue. Um, I've tried looking for this stuff on eBay before. Um. The American stuff of this is really hard to find, and uh, I just found this in a weird shop. It's in date, too. Uh, don't know if you can see there, but that clearly says uh, 15 as the expiry year. So this is in date, too. Um, so before I try a bit of backstory on Pepsi Blue. Uh, Pepsi Blue was announced... I don't know. It, was, it began circulation in 2002, and it's a berry flavored cola so it's supposed to it's not supposed to be a berry soda it's supposed to be a berry cola um if that makes sense um and it was discontinued in 2004 so the american version is very hard to find why i have one of these is because in indonesia and i think singapore i want to say singapore this stuck around and is still available today you can still get this and that's why i have a can because australia if you know any geography, is very close to Indonesia, so we get a lot of stuff from there. So that's why I have one of these, and I can try it in date in 2014. Uh, that's pretty much all the backstory there is about this. Like, I couldn't find much of a much else of a backstory unless I'm forgetting anything. Um, yeah, just it's supposed to be a berry soda, and it's supposed to be blue Pepsi. So I mean. How could I not try this? I can tell you how, I can't open the damn thing. Pocket knife to the rescue, eh? Yes, I can't open a can of soda. Sue me. Alright, so... Smells... Smells like Pepsi, to be honest. A bit... Off, but... That's definitely blue, though. That's... That's blue. They're not kidding about that. I was actually kind of worried that I was going to open this and it was going to be just like um, a brown cola that was just being called Pepsi Blue nowadays. But no, this is the actual stuff. This is Pepsi Blue. An in-date Pepsi Blue. That is weird. Um, cheers. That is... <laughs> okay, um, that has a weird aftertaste, <laughs> um, <laughs> that has a very weird aftertaste, that, ugh, that tastes like, ugh, I'm trying to put my finger on what it tastes like. It's sort of a bit cough <laughs> medicine-y, um, to be honest. Like, there's a similar drink to this. I know there... I think it's like a Powerade or a Gatorade or a energy drink. They kind of taste like this. Um, it's not horrible. There is a really weird aftertaste to this that I personally don't really like, but, um, uh, 
I mean, I could finish this can quite easily, but it's a really weird sort of aftertaste to that. I don't know if the American one was exactly like this. Um, it's impossible for me to tell things how I can't get one of the old Pepsi Blues, but um, this is definitely one of those weird things that... I can't taste much of a berry flavor. That's one thing I'm getting out of this, is the fact that it's not really berry. Um, it, on this can, it doesn't actually say berry anywhere. It's the weird thing. The closest thing to berry I can find on this can is here, where it says that. And I don't know if you can see that or read it, but that's, that's the closest thing it says to berry on this. Because only the uh, nutritional information, it's actually been printed with an English label, everything else is in Indonesian. So I can't really read it. But, that's... Hmm. This doesn't really taste like a cola. It tastes like a fruit soda, like Fanta, or something like this. It doesn't, it doesn't have a cola -y taste. Um, it's not bad. It does look a lot like the Windex I have up there, <laughs> but it's not bad. I mean, you gotta get you gotta get used to the weird aftertaste at first. But I think if you get past that, it's not too terrible. Like when I first when I took the first one, it didn't taste like anything really. It was like. I'm trying to figure out what this tastes like, but I can't think of anything. After a few more, it definitely tastes like... stuff. It's... the consistency-wise, it's Pepsi. It has the same consistency as it. It's not, like, really syrupy or anything. I wouldn't go that far. But, um... Yeah, would I recommend this? I recommend trying it once, and if you like it, um, I wouldn't, I would say it's more bubblegum than berry, to be honest. Oh, whatever the fuck that was. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, I know a lot of people, I've seen a lot of, uh, when I was researching Pepsi Blue, a lot of people actually do like this drink. I don't know if it tasted like this, but if it tasted like this, I don't see why it was so liked. Ugh. I don't see why the hype. Because honestly, it's not great. I would just, I would be just as happy with the regular Pepsi, if I, I would be more happy with just regular. This is not really doing it for me at all. It's weird but at least there's a soccer ball on the can i think this is to celebrate something let me look this up because i know this was circulated around um it wouldn't be cricket um mm. there was some sort of soccer event that um was promoted with pepsi blue that's that's as much as I know. Um, I'm kind of wondering if it's still why it's designed like that. It's a weird sort of design, but um, yeah, it's got that old, got that sort of old Pepsi Cola sort of label on there. But uh, yeah, I mean I'll. I, It's really hard to get a distinct taste from it, but I definitely wouldn't. I definitely wouldn't call that berry. It, and it, yeah, and the aftertaste it leaves, it stays with you for a while. It's not like, eh. ah, my tongue's blue. How about that? Ah. Um, <laughs> yeah, weird, weird aftertaste on that one. Um, not, not bad, but not something I would recommend either. So, um, with that, uh, that brings close to the first of the new series of, uh, An Aussie Tries, and, uh, I have something very special, if I can find it, planned for the next episode. So,
So stick around for that. I'll see you guys next time. Later.